The next event is the Javelin. The world record is 343 feet 10 inches held by Uwe Hahn of East Germany. The American record is 327.2 set by Tom Petranoff. And earlier, Bruce Jenner took a look at what's going on in this event. There's going to be some changes in this event, the Javelin, next year because of a few things that have happened over the last few years. First, a couple of years ago, Tom Petronoff of the United States threw it 327 feet. And then last year, Han from East Germany threw it over 340 feet. Well, the IAAF is afraid they're going to throw it right out of the stadium, so they decided to change the Javelin. Now, this is the old Javelin. The new one's come out in April. But what they've done is they've actually moved the weight forward in the Javelin, and they've made the tail thicker so it won't go as far. And since the distances are going to be shorter, this man in the middle of your screen, Tom Petronoff of the United States, is very concerned. And earlier I had a chance to talk to him about why the changes. I think the main reason they did it was to be able to have none of this flat and not flat, that they have a mark to identify with when the javelin lands. And so uh, I don't think they've realized the damage that they're doing to the event as far as with the record being 347 feet and now the new record's going to be in the 280 foot range or whatever the case may be. Um, I don't think it's going to be as pretty as an event, and it's not like my world record was. Uh, the thing just stayed up forever and, and sailed. Those aren't dangerous throws. Those are, you know, I mean, by any means to hurt anybody. The dangerous throws are the ones that go errant um, off to the side that they really miss bad. So um, I think they sort of jumped the gun on the decision, is my personal opinion. And uh, it's going to change the event. I think that, you know, the, the IAAF has been so against anabolic steroid use and, and that type of thing. I think the new Javelin is going to promote it more than anything else because you can, won't be the small finesse guys like myself who aren't uh, the big animals uh, like the uh, the shot put and discosaurs that are that size. And I think it's going to take less finesse and more power and brute strength to be able to throw the new javelin. It was a heated up competition here at the finals of the IAAF Grand Prix. This was Tom Petronoff on his third throw. He's currently in second place in the competition behind Duncan Atwood. Puts it out there beautifully. Just short of the 90 meter mark, 89-18, 292 feet, 7 inches, and that moves him into the lead. And then in the fifth round, it was Duncan Atwood of the United States. And he unleashes one. Look at that. Javelin just float beautifully. And he moves into the lead, 90 meters, 30, 296 feet, 3 inches. And then again in the fifth round, it was Tom Petronoff of the United States, the American record holder. Let's it go. He doesn't quite get the height, but look at that carry. And he puts it out there, 90 meters, 80, 297 feet, 11 inches. And that was so long, and it landed almost flat that it skidded right out onto the track. But Tom Petronoff is happy because that proved to be the winning throw. So the final standings in the javelin in tonight's competition, Petronoff, and Duncan Atwood of the United States won two. In the Javelin Grand Prix Championship, it was Petronoff again and Atwood right behind him. Tom Petronoff, 298, that's a long way. It was a close competition. Real close competition. Duncan uh, Atwood came at me in the, uh, I think it was the fourth round, and uh, threw 90 meters 30, which is roughly 296. And uh, I had to pull it out in the, right after him, and I threw uh, 90 meters 80, which is around 298 feet. So I came out on the uh, long end of the stick, and uh, <laughs> I'm just happy to be here and win it. Well, you did a great job of winning, but also shows a lot of consistency. You, you win the overall in the javelin. Uh, that's right. I, you know, it's, uh, I'm just really happy with the whole thing, and I was just lucky. Really. Yeah, but 10 grand, that helps pay the rent, huh? <laughs> now, come on, let's be honest. For a javelin throw, you're absolutely right. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations. Thanks, Bruce. And here are the men's current overall standings. With that performance, Tom Petronoff shares the same number of points as Saeed Awida of Morocco.